Let's get going in this raw report. Austin's music hits. The place goes crazy. Out comes Stone Cold Kevin Owens. He's got the bald thing on and 316 shirt, which I'm sure they're selling a bunch of today. Jean shorts, knee braces. He's got the bald cap on, so he looks bald. He did not shave a goatee, which I don't know why. Because he looks like a guy who can grow some facial hair pretty fast. But he comes out and he he pretends he's Steve Austin and he he does the deal for WrestleMania. And of course, then he asks for you know the bloke to uh, to throw the beers at him. And uh, they did do the deal where they hit Austin's music and everybody went crazy thinking, ah, they won't fool us twice. Well, of course they'll fool you twice. So the guy's throwing beers and he's acting like he can't catch him. And so he calls the guy into the ring. And, of course, he gives the guy the stunner. Who did not take, by the way, as good a bump as that camera guy last week who took, like, the greatest stunner bump in about uh, 25 years. Probably since uh, they did that uh, that one, uh, whatever, I think it was Survivor Series or whatever, where they were going to unify the titles and Jericho ended up winning. And uh, Steve Austin, it was like Rock versus Jericho and Austin versus Angle. And then the winners faced off for the title in the main event. I can't remember what happened last night without notes, but I remember this. Anyway, Steve Austin gives Kurt Angle a stunner, and Kurt Angle took the greatest bump for a stunner you ever saw in your life. Just stood straight up and fell like a tree, and he was dead. It was awesome. This guy didn't take a bump that good. Then we had Seth Rollins uh, backstage asking about no path to WrestleMania, and we got the Cody chant and everything like that. Vengeance 2001. Yes, thank you. Uh, Rey Mysterio and Dominic versus Ziggler and Rude. Ah! This is a classic example of this company. They have all these problems. And then they come up with stupid solutions. And then when they come up with stupid solutions, they screw those up. Okay? So the problem is nobody watches NXT 2.0. Except really old dudes, the guys that you know took selfies with their Polaroid. So they want some. They want some new. They want new viewers. They want people to watch this show. Well, it's a it's a C show that nobody cares about. So what do you do? Well, let's get some raw talent on NXT. That'll boost the numbers. All right. Well, who should we get? Well, you know who's a really good worker is uh, Dolph Ziggler. So they send Ziggler and Rude. Down to uh, down to NXT, and the very first thing they do, like Rude gets a, a, a but you know the f- three hundred people or whatever they're in the building. I don't even know. It may be even less than that, but they all cheer and everything like that. But Rude shows up at NXT, and the first thing he does is cut a promo about how you know I lose uh, nineteen out of twenty matches, but boy can I steal the show. I was like, I mean maybe maybe promos like that appeal to the 63 year old average viewer of nxt 2.0 but bro when you say that you win one out of every 20 matches dude i don't care one bit about watching this stupid feud so then yeah you guys think i'm making this up but this is what happened so then uh they announced that you know uh ziggler is going to be in line for an nxt championship match so the first thing they do is they put him in a match with tomaso chump and Chum- and Ciampa pins him so then they they add it it's not going to be a three-way so then, what happens next? Well, there's another match, and Dolph Ziggler gets pinned again. Total loser. So, somehow this is supposed to make me want to watch NXT more. So then, you know, this guy that can't win to save his life. And by the way, they're tag matches, so they could pin Bobby Roode, but they don't. They pin Ziggler, repeatedly. So then Ziggler goes, and he wins the NXT championship. So he's the champion now, and uh, Braun Breaker is going to face Ziggler over WrestleMania weekend. And so here, their new idea is, they announce, tonight on NXT, Braun Breaker is going to face Bobby Roode, who, by the way, has not been beaten through any of this because they've only been pinning Dolph Ziggler. So, so Braun Breaker is going to face Robert Roode, who is, of course, from the main roster coming down because their idea is, you know, we want more people to watch the show because it's like, you know, the A-show guys are coming to NXT. So I swear to God, they announced this match. The number one contender for the NXT title is facing, he's got to go through Ziggler's guy. They do Ray and Dominic versus Ziggler and Rude and Dominic Mysterio rolls up and then Frog splashes Bobby Roode and he pins him in the middle of the ring. Clean. There's like, there's no, 
no interference, no Braun Bray, nothing. He just out-wrestled and pinned Robert Roode. Why would I want to see this match? How could I possibly care? Why would I tune in Tuesday to see Bobby Roode versus Braun Breaker after he gets pinned in a nothing match clean in the middle of the ring? These are their... And by the way, the overarching story here is have you watched the NXT ratings? This has meant nothing. Zero zilch. Nobody's tuning in because of these guys you've brought down from the main roster. And I'm sure that internally it's like, well, it's Rude and Ziggler. Of course nobody's tuning in. Wait a bigger star. That's the problem. Maybe the problem is uh, they haven't won a single, either of them have not won one single solitary match except when Ziggler actually beat Braun Breaker to win the championship. I got to get people to watch. We need young. Anyway, so that was a match. And then afterwards, Miz beat up Ray, stole his mask, and now he wants uh, Logan Paul to wear it next week, which is part. So, you know, I've got a, uh, an, inter an interview coming up with Phil Strum for USA Today. It's a video interview. It's going to be up next week. And, uh, and we were talking about this. And I won't spoil the interview. You can watch the interview. But we had a long talk about how in the old days, a celebrity was brought to WWF, WWE, and ultimately it was to get over a wrestler. You know, uh, the idea was to get over Wendy Richter. The idea was to get over Hulk Hogan. The idea was to get over Steve Austin. You know, that's what the point was. You didn't bring in a celebrity. It's not like, oh, you know, let's bring in Liberace because we want to get over Liberace. But the idea was Mr. T was the biggest television star in all of America, legitimately from the A-team. And the idea was that he would come in and a bunch of people would watch WrestleMania to see Mr. T. But then Hogan was the one who was going to get the rub. It wasn't about making Mr. T a bigger star. So this Logan Paul thing, this is not about giving the rub to Ray or Dominic or Miz. You can see from the moment this began, the point is to get over Logan Paul. So the, the storyline is that Logan Paul was a huge fan of Rey Mysterio. Well, Miz has disrespected Ray, and now Miz wants Logan Paul to disrespect Ray by wearing this ma mask next week. Just like they're both from Cleveland, and Miz buried Cleveland, and Logan Paul was like, why are you burying Cleveland? I like Cleveland. The idea is to get over Logan Paul. So then Rollins is backstage, and, uh, you know, he's upset about this whole WrestleMania thing, and... And uh, he has been told. So so what happened was in the Ray match, he came out before the match started and he did a promo on the ramp. It's actually during the match. So uh, Pierce says, you know, interrupting a match is not how you, you get on a WrestleMania card. Even though literally on Friday, the way that Natty and Shayna got onto the WrestleMania card was by interfering in a match. So then they decide, you know what? We are going to give you an opportunity. So as we'll get to later, AJ and uh, Rollins in the main event, winner gets edge. Omos beat Cruz and Commander Aziz. Bro, if they're going to do those post-mania cuts, Cruz and Aziz need to shut off them phones. They got stacked like cordwood and pinned together in a minute 49. Stacked on top of each other. It actually would have been quicker, but this ref was being all, oh, his shoulder's not all the way down. So it was like everyone looked stupid for like 10 seconds while they try to figure out how to get their shoulders down to get pinned. And then Omos cut a promo. He wants a singles match at Domania. So no Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. We had the AJ promo with Styles that set up the main event. We had a Zelina and Carmella segment where Carmella's not paying attention. She's on her phone. Zelina gets mad. She breaks the phone. Zelina says she's ugly. Carmella says she's a hobbit. They get in a brawl. They beat each other up. Uh, fast forward, it's a swerve. They did this just to fool everybody. But in order to do this swerve, we broke a $1,000 phone and we beat the crap out of each other in a backstage segment where, in storyline, nobody was around. 
We had Natty and Shayna versus Rhea and Liv Morgan. When Liv Morgan got pinned after the heart attack, we got to beat everybody, make sure they're all geeks, and we'll do the title match. And then Zelina beats up Rhea Ripley, and Carmella attacks Natty and Shayna. She beat actually Natty and Shayna up by herself, Carmella. And then they get in the ring, and everyone wants them to fight, but they hug and they smile. Which at the end of the day, when you really think about the swerve... Bro, they broke a, a, a $1,200 iPhone or whatever and beat the crap out of each other for a swerve that they didn't even need to do the swerve because they attacked everybody from behind. Whole thing is nonsense. Speaking of nonsense, Becky did a promo. You fans chose Bianca Belair over me. Bro. She was so over at SummerSlam, way more over than Bianca. Then she turns heel. At all the house shows, she's cheered way more than Bianca. But the storyline is, you fans chose Bianca over me. Is that supposed to be the heat where, like, it's obvious this is all BS and they actually love her, but now they're supposed to hate her because they love her and she thinks they hate Is that the heat or what is this? So this sucked. I'm sick of this. If I hear one more you fans promo, we get a segment with Austin Theory. It's Finn Balor and Austin Theory. Pat McAfee's on commentary. Of course, Pat McAfee does a distraction, and uh, Austin Theory is pinned. Uh, McAfee's all excited about it. This is not nearly as good as what they did on SmackDown, but it was, it was fine. Just something to do. Then we had Randy Orton and Riddle beating the Alpha Academy in a non title match because, in fact, Everybody has to be beaten. We're all geeks until we find out who is the most overachieving geek on the pay-per-view. Uh, ended up with... Uh, finish was awesome. Gable did the Chaos Theory suplex. Riddle flipped over. Bro Derek, clean pin in the middle of the ring. And then Otis uh, beats up Orton. And uh, then Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford beat up Riddle. So, yes, it is a three-way at uh, WrestleMania. We had Dana and Reggie beating Tamina and Akira Tozawa. You know how the feud's going. We've already got the kiss, but now we're building to the kiss that we already got because time goes backwards. And then, of course, AJ beats Seth. 20, they had a great 22-minute match, and then Edge just runs down, whacks AJ Styles, or, uh, yeah, AJ with the chair. And so AJ wins via DQ. Seth is angry. Fans boo. And we got our post-match angle. I've seen better shows. Back in a moment, Observer Live. I was reading this book about bats. The book explains that a bat cannot stand and then take off, okay? A bat can only fly, fall from a great height and then fly. Gotcha. Sting is now a bat. He just goes up on something really high and he falls. He, he did not jump through these tables. <laughs> no, he, he fell. Just, he fell. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.